A pulmonary embolism, PE, is a sudden blockage in a lung artery. It usually happens when a blood clot breaks loose and travels through the bloodstream to the lungs. PE is a serious condition that can cause permanent damage to the lungs, low oxygen levels in your blood, damage to other organs in your body from not getting enough oxygen. PE can be life-threatening, especially if a clot is large or if there are many clots. The cause is usually a blood clot in the leg, called a deep vein thrombosis, that breaks loose and travels through the bloodstream to the lungs. Anyone can get a pulmonary embolism, PE, but certain things can raise your risk of PE. Having surgery, especially joint replacement surgery. Certain medical conditions, including cancers, heart diseases, lung diseases, a broken hip or leg bone or other trauma. Hormone-based medicines, such as birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy. Pregnancy and childbirth. The risk is highest for about six weeks after childbirth. Not moving for long periods, such as being on bed rest, having a cast, or taking a long plane flight. Age. Your risk increases as you get older, especially after age 40 family history and genetics. Certain genetic changes that can increase your risk of blood clots and PE. And obesity. Half the people who have pulmonary embolism have no symptoms. If you do have symptoms, they can include shortness of breath, chest pain, or coughing up blood. Symptoms of a blood clot include warmth, swelling, pain, tenderness and redness of the leg. It can be difficult to diagnose PE. To make a diagnosis, your healthcare provider will take your medical history, including asking about your symptoms and risk factors for PE, do a physical exam, and run some tests, including various imaging tests and possibly some blood tests. If you have PE, you need medical treatment right away. The goal of treatment is to break up clots and help keep other clots from forming. Treatment options include medicines and procedures. Medicines include anticoagulants and thrombolytics. Procedures include catheter-assisted thrombus removal and a vena cava filter. Preventing new blood clots can prevent PE. Prevention may include Continuing to take blood thinners. It's also important to get regular checkups with your provider to make sure that the dosage of your medicines is working to prevent blood clots but not causing bleeding. Heart-healthy lifestyle changes, such as heart-healthy eating, exercise, and, if you smoke, quitting smoking. Using compression stockings to prevent deep vein thrombosis DVT. Moving your legs when sitting for long periods of time, such as on long trips. Moving around as soon as possible after surgery or being confined to a bed. 